In today's cartoon story joke, we present a disaster of epic proportions. Imagine this. Sherlock Holmes, the detective whose brain is sharper than a ferret juggling razor blades, decides to ditch the stuffy apartment for a spot of fresh air, camping. Now Dr. Watson, bless his perpetually nervous soul, prefers his vacations with a minimum three-star rating and a functioning espresso machine. Prepare for campfire mishaps that would make a marshmallow weep, deductions so off-base they'd confuse a blindfolded pigeon, and enough bumbling detective work to make even a cartoon squirrel detective convention raise an eyebrow. Picture Sherlock Holmes, a bloodhound with a superiority complex the size of Buckingham Palace. This brilliant but easily bored detective can crack a case faster than you can say elementary, although good luck getting him to say anything besides interesting. Watson, bless his perpetually terrified heart, is Sherlock's human notepad and emotional lightning rod. Loyal to a fault and slightly traumatized, he spends most days dodging not-so-subtle jabs and making sure Sherlock doesn't accidentally ingest his latest scientific concoction, a.k.a. questionable swamp water. Hold on to your tutus, or tentacles if you're into that, because we're about to blast off on a wilder ride than a ballerina on Red Bull after a five-course espresso martini tasting. There'll be stolen loot, twists that'll make your brain do the macarena, and enough shenanigans to put a circus to shame. Buckle up, Buttercup. This is going to be a bumpy one, but in the best way possible. A crisp autumn air filled the carriage, carrying with it the promise of a thrilling escape. Sherlock Holmes, his piercing eyes glinting with anticipation, leaned back against the plush leather seats. Watson, he declared, his voice a low rumble. A weekend of intellectual rejuvenation awaits us in the bosom of nature. Dr. Watson, his ever-present notebook clutched in his hand, chuckled. Indeed, Holmes, a respite from the smog and the ceaseless hum of the city is precisely what we both require. Let's go on this camping trip, a rare escape from the smog and shadows of 221B Baker Street, is what the doctor orders. Their destination, a secluded clearing nestled amidst the rolling hills of the English countryside. The sun dipped below the horizon as they arrived, painting the sky in hues of fiery orange and deep purple. With practiced ease, they erected their tent, a sturdy canvas structure that promised a night of undisturbed slumber under the vast expanse of the night sky. After a hearty meal of roasted pheasant and steaming mugs of tea, they retired for the night. The silence of the countryside was a stark contrast to the cacophony of London, a symphony of crickets chirping, and the gentle rustle of leaves their only lullaby. Sometime after midnight, Holmes stirred. A low hum vibrated through his keen senses, a subtle anomaly in the otherwise peaceful night. He nudged his slumbering companion. Watson, he whispered, his voice barely above a murmur. Watson, startled awake, peered at his friend through the dim moonlight. What is it, Holmes? Look up, Holmes instructed, his eyes fixed on the star-studded sky. Watson, ever the dutiful assistant, followed his gaze. The sight that greeted him was breathtaking. Millions of stars twinkled like scattered diamonds, a celestial tapestry stretching infinitely above. What does the night sky reveal to you? Watson, his mind abuzz with the cosmic spectacle, launched into a passionate monologue. Astronomically, it speaks of an unfathomably vast universe. With countless galaxies and planets beyond our wildest imagination. Astrologically, the alignment of the constellations hints at... He paused, his voice trailing off as he considered the time. Horologically, I deduce that it is approximately a quarter past three in the morning. He continued, his voice gaining momentum. Theologically, the sheer scale of the cosmos reminds us of our place in the grand scheme of things, mere specks in the grand tapestry of existence. And meteorologically, the clarity of the night sky suggests a glorious day dawning upon us. Holmes listened patiently, 
a faint smile playing on his lips. Finally, when Watson concluded his elaborate deduction, Holmes spoke, his voice a low, dry whisper. Watson, you absolute buffoon, he declared. Someone stole our tent. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.